this is a result of is they have tried to uh, renegotiate Ryan Clady's deal uh, for a few weeks now, and and they've not had much success on either side. Uh, Clady has a cap figure of 10.1 million. The team has tried to reduce it, and and when you know Russell Coon expressed interest in the Broncos, and they then expressed interest in in him. You knew that the talks were at an impasse and that they felt like they had a legitimate chance to land Okun, and, and so now they have, and they are actively trying to trade Brian Clady. The trouble is if people believe you are going to release a player, sometimes it's hard to to work a trade for that player, So, uh, but they are going to try to, to trade them, but they do need that salary cap room at some point. Uh, they would get about um, $8.9 million worth of salary cap relief if they did release Clady. So if no trade has worked out, I think folks could look for him to be released shortly after that. If there is a trade, though, for Clady, what is Denver expecting to get in return? I think at this point they would take, you know, frankly, whatever they could get. I mean, it's... He's, he's spent two of the last three years on injured reserve, so at, at his best, he was a very athletic, pro bowl level left tackle. You know, at this point, he's had uh, several injuries in recent years, so I think they would they would take most, you know, any pick, even perhaps even a conditional pick if they could get one. ESPN Broncos reporter Jeff Legwald with the very latest on the Broncos now adding offense.